swept the nation, with many suffering from its adverse effects through physical, emotional, or psychological issues. In the United States, it's said that one in five teens suffer from a severe medical disorder today, according to the CDC. Today, I will be discussing how therapy animals function as an alternative non-pharmaceutical approach in addressing the rising concerns of adolescent mental health. One key characteristic associated with the development among the adolescent population is the use of technology through social media, video games, and exposure through internet-related bullying, also referred to as cyberbullying, that can occur. All of these have extreme and adverse effects on the mind of an adolescent, and often it's not for the better. According to a study conducted by Sharman and her research team, they found that the use of technology could be used to and linked to a variety of factors. According to the study, instant messaging was found to be associated with an increased depression in one study. This observational study of adolescent text messages revealed that adolescents who send text messages with more negative content are more likely to suffer from self-reported internalizing and depressive symptoms. Technology is one of the greatest advancements of the 21st century and can be such a helpful tool, but when used in this way, it becomes a parent's worst nightmare. In fact, these torments between other students can feed into an individual's well-being and can manifest into a variety of mental health issues as a result. Another study conducted by Tigerman and Slater showed significant positive relationships among users on social media sites, the number of friends on the online network, and body image concerns. Body dissatisfaction can lead to maladaptive consequences such as depression, anxiety, self-esteem, and eating disorders. This is another form of disorders that can develop through the use of technology to showcase body-related idealism. So, you may be asking yourself, show me some numbers. I mean, really, how many? Adolescent children are affected by mental disorders. Well, like I said in the beginning, mental health has swept the nation. Not brushed the surface, not been slightly affected. No, I meant swept. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, one in six U.S. children aged two to eight years had a diagnosed mental, behavioral, or developmental disorder. These numbers are jaw-dropping. With such young ages, we can't assume that as a society, these children are by social standards too young to understand the impacts and struggles that mental health has on them. In addition, the CDC states that among the more common of the mental health disorders that can be diagnosed in childhood are ADHD, anxiety, and behavior disorders. What can we do? What can make this change you may be asking yourself? Therapy animals, specifically the implementation of therapy dogs can be one of the first steps in combating this issue without using medication. Next, let's look into a case study that shows the positive impacts of therapy dogs and their ability to combat mental health. Therapy dogs have been known to have a variety of benefits from physical, emotional, and mental perspectives. Today, I'll be discussing a case study related to the benefits associated with therapy animals, specifically dogs and their relation to mental health. This study surrounds the use of therapy dogs and their interaction between patients diagnosed with autism. A 2014 pilot study was conducted to see the results of therapy dogs into structured play. In as little as 14 sessions, it showed a significant increase of speech in children diagnosed with autism, aged 7 to 10. These results from this case study showed how that through the implementation of therapy dogs, it could fill the speech electric sector, which greatly improved the interactions between these adolescent children with autism. This is just one example of how therapy animals have been used to address the ever-rising concerns of mental health. Another area we can discuss is the benefits associated with therapy dogs. We just discussed a case study related to the benefits of therapy dogs. However, the list of benefits does not stop there. In fact, there are a variety of benefits associated with the implementation of these animals. The first benefit is that therapy dogs provide a non-pharmaceutical approach to treatment. With the implementation of therapy, animals, rather than relying on medications, we can see results in a non-pill form. 
Today, according to the CDC, nearly 8 in 10 children aged 3 to 17 years with depression received treatment, 6 in 10 with anxiety received treatment, and more than 5 in 10 with behavioral disorders received treatment. These rates are rather alarming. Relying on medication to treat something mental can be a risk. In fact, some of these medications have side effects that can sometimes even worsen some of the already existing mental health issues. Therapy animals can, in comparison to that of the medicational route, greatly improve the symptoms and assist in offering an alternative approach to treatment. Other benefits associated with therapy dogs in mental patients include the lowering of anxiety. Professor of Education Mary Redneck Jalongo, in her research on the use of therapy dogs, in reading classrooms explain the many benefits of therapy dogs, like stress reduction, peer interaction at an observable rate lowered these children's anxiety levels. The decrease in anxiety of the levels of the children helped to assist the students who have been diagnosed with mental issues related to onset anxiety. Another benefit associated with the implementation of therapy dogs is the idea of a support system. For some of these younger adolescents, a dog can be much more of an outlet the assist rather than the assistance of another human. One program observed at the Early Childhood Education Journal is AAT, also known as Animal Assisted Therapy. This is a program that is shown to have a support system associated with therapy dogs. According to her research, the general assumptions underlying AAT with children, that although therapy dogs are interactive, children seem to perceive them as non-judgmental participants who are outside of the assumptions and complications of human relationships. This general assumption allows that children are able to communicate efficiently and effectively for therapy purposes. In fact, these benefits associated with therapy animals can help to improve and show how important these animals are on improving mental conditions among the adolescent population. Mental health is a serious issue that continues to rise in the United States, and therapy animals can be one of the first steps to addressing that issue. Lastly, we must continue to research and study the effects of therapy dogs and their effect on their owners. Our society faces one of the biggest mental health crises among the adolescent population within recent years. One solution to the implementation is the implementation of those therapy dogs to improve the quality of life for individuals who are struggling with these disorders. In addition, mental health concerns will continue to rise, but it is up to us as a society to invest in these practices to address this issue. Therapy animals could be that cure. Thank you. Here's my proposal. Therapy animals. Specifically, the implementation of therapy dogs can be one of the first steps in combating <laughs> without using medication. <laughs> Animals, rather than relying on medications, we can see where <laughs> Dang! You go inside, come. <laughs>